Hello everyone, it's John again, and today I am at the Golden Arches of McDonald's. And it's that time again to check out the global menu items at the global headquarters here in Chicago on Randolph Street. And I have two items that I'm going to try and tell you about today. Because their other sandwich was the Mick Alu, which I already tried because it was on their previous menu so I guess it stayed around uh, even though it was my least favorite of things that were there but anyway we're gonna try out a burger and a side I'm not sure if this is new or not uh, it, it looks similar to something that was on there before but I wasn't for sure so I'll try it again anyway to the burger this is the double bulgogi burger which is from uh, McDonald's Korea specifically south and what it is is a double pork burger that's right these patties are not beef they are pork and on this you have lettuce mayo cheese and a bulgogi sauce it is a double burger it's very much slip sliding around in here because the mayo and the bulgogi sauce just kind of create this slick um, layer between them. We're trying to pinch it, hold it very tightly, take a bite, tell you what I think. Here we go. Hmm. Is that in there? Sure do. Good meal. All right. Um, it is a, they call them teriyaki pork patties, so I think the, the patties themselves are seasoned. It is a moist sandwich. Mm. The patties are distinctly porky. They kind of remind me of their sausage patties a bit, actually. But they're bigger than the size of a, a burger patty. In fact, these pork patties look bigger than their regular uh, beef patties do. It's just a little section over there. The lettuce in here just kind of gets all gunked up in the mayo and the sauce. So any kind of crunch or crisp you got from the lettuce is just kind of gone. But overall, the flavor is good. You, uh, you get this nice porkiness. The cheese definitely gives you a nice, sharp, creamy bit to it. The uh, seasoning in the pork patty is definitely giving me teriyaki vibes. And the bulgogi sauce is like this sweet, soy-like umami deliciousness this is definitely a burger that I would try again Just for that, just for that pork patty in there, two pork patties actually, it's just very rich and savory and 
It carries the spices and flavors very well. If you're a person that eats pork, I highly recommend either going to South Korea or going to Chicago, going to the global headquarters and trying the double goji burger. It's uh, very tasty. I wish it was a little bit less messy and gloopy, uh, but that's really the only complaint I have for it. All the flavors were there. Two thumbs up. Highly recommend. Chris Cut Fries. This is uh, the garlic pepper Chris Cut Fries. I think I might have tried these last time, but I wasn't sure. So I got them again. It tastes okay. It kind of tastes like that curly fry seasoning. Crispy. Season. I don't think it's anything special. It's a take it or leave it kind of thing. I don't recommend you run out to try it, but if you're out there trying a bull goji burger, you want to make your meal a little bit more global. You get the garlic pepper crisp cut fries. They're not bad. Maybe order a, a regular fries as well, just in case you miss the authentic regular uh, McDonald's fries. Anyway, that's it for this global McDonald's review video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, looking forward to the next time. Oh, yes. <clears throat> It's like a Lego piece. Save that for later. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.